Hello! Welcome back to Gilisanya Engineering Videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. Today, we will discuss propped beam with spring support, part 1. This will be a two-part uh, video, so the other part will be a problem wherein uh, the spring support is not at the tip. Alright, so let's uh, start with this problem. We have here the given uh, figure, so determine the spring reaction at B in this uh, propped cantilever. So the span length is 12 meters, fixed at A, loaded with uniformly varying load, varying from 34 to 10 kilonewton per meter at B. Okay, assuming the beam is prismatic, uh, the material is steel, 200 GPA, uh, the modulus of elasticity, 200 GPA, and the moment of inertia is 100, 150 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the 4th. And given that the spring deforms 1 millimeters in every uh, 500 newton load. Alright, so with that, we, can, we will be able to get the stiffness of the spring. So, let's get first the spring stiffness. Spring stiffness, or commonly known as spring constant. So that's a force over deformation. 500 newton, let's denote it with K. That's 500 newtons per 1 mm. Okay, for uh, consistency of units here, let us stick to kilonewton and meter. Alright, so this is 0.5 kilonewton divided by 0 0.001 meter. So this will become 500 kilonewtons per meter. So that is the stiffness of the spring, and then also the modular uh, the modular uh, the flexural rigidity. I mean, the product of E and I. So the product of E and I that will be two hundred thousand times uh, GPA. So this is MPA now. Two hundred thousand MPA times uh, uh, millimeters to the fourth. This will give you newton mm squared let's make this kilonewton meter squared to be consistent with our unit so you divide this by 1000 and another 1000 squared so this you divide this by 1000 raised to 3 so this will become 30,000 kilonewton meter squared so how are we going to solve this one so take note that the spring will deform Okay, well, if this is a rigid support, then that will be very easy. We have a formula for that. We have a formula for that. For the uniform load, that will be W L squared over 8. I'm not mistaken. And for the triangular loading, that will be W, uh, w L to the 4th, I mean. W L to the 4th over 8 for the uniform load. And W L to the 4th over 30 EI for the triangular loading. Uh, let me check on that. Uh, oops, I'm sorry. I was uh, taking the deflection. Okay, this is it. The reaction, if that is a uh, uniform load, would have been 38WL. And for uh, uh, triangular loading, would have been WL over 10. But take note, we cannot use these formulas simply because the spring will deform. So these formulas are applicable if the, the, the support at the uh, B, at the other end is rigid okay all right so how are we going to solve this one well this is easily solved by using superposition okay so the technique is first let us remove this support here let us remove this support ah, when, we, when you remove that support then the beam will deflect look at this all right it will deflect because it will become a cantilever beam. So let's call the deflection as delta 1. So we can solve this uh, deflection here using the formulas. Let's just use the formula. Let's not use area moment. It will take time. Alright, so your delta 1, you, uh, let's divide the load into rectangular loading and this uh, triangular loading. So 10 kN per meter. So this should be 24 kN per meter. And let's call that W3. W3. So that uh, your delta 1 will be equal to WL to the 4th over 8. That is for the uniform load, W1. And for the triangular loading will be W3L to the 4th over 30EI. 
Alright, so EI known W1, we can use kilonewton here, kilonewton per meter, and then meter for the length. It will become like this. Can check the results here. Alright, and that becomes substituting for the value EI, 30,000 kilonewton meter squared. We can get the value in meter, 1.41696 meter. So you can just imagine if you will remove that support. Okay. So what's next? The so next is let us apply that support. All right. Since that is a spring, it will leave a small deformation because the spring will have a load, and because of that load, we know the formula for the spring. Uh, we have the, we are familiar with this formula: force equals kx. You know you're very familiar with that formula: force on spring. This is the stiffness of the spring in kilonewton per linear unit length force per unit length and this is the deformation so whenever a spring is subjected to any force it will naturally deform so that okay so once we apply that support it will look like this look all right that's it it will leave a small deformation so the spring reaction is rb let's call that rb so we have here rb will cause the beam to deform this much and let's call that delta 2 so there will be a residual deformation here. Let's call that delta B. So this is our setup. And this is now your final elastic curve. Alright. Now, by uh, principle, delta 2 will be a deflection of a cantilever beam subject to a concentrated load at the tip. The formula is PL cube over 3 EI. So our delta 2 will be RBL cube. This is it. Over 3 EI. Right, substitute the values, we can solve this in terms of RB. So this is your delta 2 in terms of RB. 12 over 6 to 5 RB. The unit there is meter. Alright, now for the spring, from the basic relationship, that's the one I just gave you, force equals kx. So for the spring, the force is RB. The spring constant or the stiffness is already known in kilonewton per meter and then your deformation is delta b so this will be the relationship rb equals k times delta b so that your delta b will be equal to rb which is unknown as of now divided by k of 500 kilonewton per meter so this we are very consistent with our unit okay so from this deformation here we can see that our delta B equals delta 1 minus delta 2. Substitute in the values, delta B is RB over 500, delta 1 is uh, 1.41696, and then delta 2 is equal to this. Alright, that's it. That's it. Then you will have RB as your unknown. Okay, so let's not simplify that anymore. Your RB is 66.8377 kilotons. Okay? Did you get that? Uh, by the way, there is a formula for this. No? And before I go to that, let me invite you once again to, uh, uh, in our GRTC Lite and GERTC Plus. Okay? So, if you visit our website, we have these uh, menus. So, GRTC Lite. So, those who are uh, among you who are planning to take the board exam, as of recording, today is April 13, so as of uh, 2021. So, if you are planning to take the board exam uh, on November 2021, but still you doubt if uh, that will not be cancelled because of the pandemic, cancelled again. So, then take note that the exam was postponed three times already. So if you have doubts, then this is the best uh, uh, program for you. So with GRTC Lite, if you are a member of GRTC Lite, if you just click on this link, okay, all the 13-week lecture will be there. We divided that by courses. Course 1, course 2, course 3, and so on and so forth. You can select what course you want. Not only what course, you can select what subject. And not only what subject, for example, if you have engineering me mechanics course 1, you can select the topic. You can select the topic. Maybe in the first week, you will study all about engineering mechanics. Then you can select all the engineering mechanics. Alright. Uh, second week, maybe you want fluid mechanics. Then you can just select all the fluid mechanics. 
So this is our uh, the whole review program for 13 weeks. No? So the monthly subscription for GRTC Lite is only 5, 499. 499 ang monthly subscription. And you can now access all the lecture videos. Well, if you can finish all these courses in one month, then you just pay 499 for your entire review. Yun, kung kaya mong, if you can finish all of this, but I doubt. Now, the GRTC Plus will be, uh, if you click this site, this link here, uh, this menu, so our GRTC Plus will be adding more and more questions or uh, practice uh, lecture videos every month. So, parameter ng parami, it will keep on, uh, our database will keep increasing. So, if you want to, uh, you want to study, spell, uh, uh, for example, uh, let's choose here, uh, survey or Okay, ah, this is mathematics. I will select uh, structural, for example. Right? Structural, and then you will uh, study about strength of materials. Then you have here, thermal stress. Ayan. So, the, this is it. And, by the way, this is uh, the GRTC Plus. We included the most recent board examination here. As you can see, this is the board exam November 2019. If you're a member of GRTC Plus, you click this uh, link, then you can have access to the video immediately. So if you're a member, then you can watch the video, right? So that's for the GRTC Plus. Well, for the GRTC Lite, for the review, the same process, no? If you click on a course and click on a topic, for example, radius of duration, then it will go directly to that video. So you don't have to uh, explore the video. No? So we already made the table of contents. So that's it for the GRTC Lite, 499 pesos a month. And our GRTC Plus is 899. Okay, and with that, I, uh, in addition to that, you can get 50% discount of all your orders ng book namin. And 50% discount on your first book. Okay, for the first 100 uh, members. Okay? So, that's it. Alright, so let's move on. Okay. Going back to our problem. Uh, so, for the reflection, actually, there is a formula for this. For propped cantilever, uh, spring, uh, fixed one end, and then... Uh, a propped beam supported beam this is the formula you, you can derive this if you will be using variables in simplifying this one you'll be able you can uh, you'll be able to derive this formula this is it so 3 ei k delta 1 divided by k k l cube 3 ei you know what k is you know what ei is delta 1 is the reflection of a cantilever once the support is removed k is the spring constant if you will set this k to infinity, actually, if you will set this k to infinity, meaning the support is very rigid, what you can get here is actually the uh, uh, the the support. If the I mean the support reaction, if it is rigid, so the limiting value of this as k approaches infinity, it will be the uh, formula for the rigid. So once you have the delta one, the very important here is to solve for your delta one. In any case, even if the spring is somewhere here, you can still use this formula. Okay? And you can find this in the second part of our video. Okay? So, I will stop this one and I, we will have the second part. Abangan nyo. Huh? So, yung ating second part ng ating video. Alright? So, thank you so much for watching and I hope you learn uh, marami kang natutunan huh? from this video lecture videos thank you so much